There are certain places that have large pits or depressions that have turned into ponds following heavy rains or flooding of the region. If you have ever observed that type of water body, you have likely noticed that fish start to appear in them on their own, as if by magic. Since there were no fish in the pond before, as the pond didn't previously exist, and with absolutely no outside human help, how do fish appear in these ponds and lakes after they form? Fish reach new, replenished pounds in three main ways. 1. They are already there. 2. They get there naturally. 3. They have some type of external help getting there. If you are new here, then you might first want to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss our regular documentaries. Every week we publish 5 such information based videos. This might sound a bit unbelievable at first, but it's true. Fish and other aquatic creatures might already reside in a fresh pond, but you might not see them until some time passes after their formation. There are some species of aquatic animals that lay eggs capable of surviving long spells of drought that will hatch only when they are locally rehydrated. For instance, algae leave spores that can survive for extended periods of time. There are also certain species that dig deep into the mud of a pond and leave their eggs there. The eggs hibernate until the pond is refilled, at which point they come out, reproduce and propagate their species in the newly formed water body. American alligators survive dry spells in this exact way. A piece of land could have the same drainage system causing different water bodies to share the same water and its inhabitants. Many lakes and ponds are formed by rivers and seas themselves. For instance, if there is a steady upsurge of water in a lake, its water might spill over its natural boundaries and accumulate in a low-lying area via small streams. This leads to the formation of a small child water body, where fish and other aquatic creatures might travel to through the same streams, which act as a liquid highway between the parent river and the newly formed lake. Once there, the newly arrived fish reproduce and populate the new lake, pond. Lakes that are close to each other often get a population boost by hitching a ride on birds that hang out in ponds. For instance, when a bird comes to drink water from a pond, eggs might stick to its feathers, feet. When it flies off to a newly formed pond nearby, which is also a new hangout spot for many of its pals. Those same eggs might uncouple themselves from their host and populate the new pond over time. Eggs hitch a ride on the body parts of birds and land-based animals without the hosts even knowing about it. The same thing happens in the case of land animals, whose feet and fur might play host to the eggs of aquatic animals for the journey between two ponds. Humans play a crucial role in populating ponds by actively, passively introducing select species of aquatic animals in them. There are dedicated fish farms and hatcheries where populations of certain fish are raised and subsequently delivered to water bodies that need a population boost. Trout is one of the most commonly introduced fish through active human effort, which explains how a small pond in someone's backyard can have a thriving fish population. Sometimes we end up releasing fish into a new water body by carrying them on the bottoms of our boats or other water sporting gear. Then there's also fish lovers who, at times, release their pet fish into new water bodies. Regardless of a pond's size, its newness or apparent isolation from other water bodies, the appearance of fish and other aquatic creatures in it can be attributed to one of nature's many maxims, life will always find a way. Hope you found information in this video useful? If yes, then hit the like button below and share this video with your friends. Also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon, so you don't miss our daily videos. Thank you.